Yes, so now we are discussing about health services in that today we are discussing about a physical therapist. Physical uh, therapist. Physical therapy also generally includes yoga, exercises, meditation, etc. With the right education and training, you can also start your own physical therapy practice where you help people recover after injury and after uh, other physical therapy services. Before starting this, first uh, have practical experience in any clinic or hospital, then you can start independently. Always basic study should be there to get new things and updates. Next point is what does a physical therapist do? Physical therapists teach patients how to prevent or manage their conditions so that they will achieve long term health benefits. PTs exam each individual and develop a plan using treatment techniques to promote the ability to move, reduce pain, restore fun function and prevent disability. And next point is uh, when should you see a physical therapist? A list of some of the most common reasons to seek physical therapy includes neck pain and low back pain, arthritis in one or multiple joints, fractures and other orthopedic conditions, boil or bladder incontinence, problems with balance or mobility, chronic fatigue and weakness. Next point is the difference between physical therapist and physiotherapist. To answer how many sh uh, shock to learn is that physical therapy and physiotherapy are exactly the same. There is in fact no difference between the two terms and each term can be used interchangeably. They are uh, synonyms some practitioners suggest. Some practitioners suggest that uh, physiotherapy is more concerned with the manual therapy. Physical therapists need following skills are important for, for this career. Reading, uh, comprehension, active learning, writing, speaking, science, critical thinking, active learning and learning strategies. These are most important in physical therapists to learn. Physical therapy, next point is physical therapy session. Physical therapy sessions typically last 30 to 60 minutes each from one to many times a week depending on why a person is receiving a therapy. As you make progress, your visits may change in length and frequency. You will learn new techniques to help continue your healing. Next point is good physical therapist. Here are qualities of a successful physical therapist. Knowledgeable, a therapist should be up to date with the knowledge required to diagnose and treat a patient. Humble, humble, patient, positive, really, realistic and caring. Suppose, uh, supportive and co compassionate, uh, accountable. Next point is how do I become a successful physical therapist? Earn a bachelor's degree in a high in health related field. Earn a doctor's of, of doctorate of physical therapy degree. Obtain a state PT license, complete a physical therapist residency, find the right physical therapist job, attend continuing education for physical therapy, further specialize in physical therapy, obtain PT board certification. So these are most important. So physical therapists can learn a certified courses are available. If you learn those, you can do physical therapist in very good very big hospitals also. This is the information regarding physical therapist. Wishing you all the best.